Rodney, thanks for clicking on my video. Well, you know, global warming is a big, big problem. Global warming means our Earth is sick. <laughs> it's not funny. Now, I have a solution to global warming, I believe, and it has to do, it's a very radical solution. It has to do with, well, I think I need to illustrate this. Let me get my camera set up for this illustration. Let's see if I can get it set up. Uh, I don't even know how it's going to work. I'll set this up first, and then we'll see what we can do, because global warming is going to kill all of us if something doesn't happen. So something's going to happen, and we're going to make it happen here on YouTube. We can do this, folks. We can solve global warming on YouTube. Yes, we can solve global warming. Oh! Okay, let's see here. All right. Uh, that's good enough, I guess, right there. Okay, whatever. So, eh, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Oh, i got to get better at this. But I probably won't. <clears throat> okay. Now, global warming is a problem with the globe. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how to cool down the globe. Now what I'm thinking of is a radical solution. There you have the earth. My solution is to get all of the people on YouTube and all of the bloggers and all the bloggers who continue to put out all of this incredible content that is really nothing more than freaking flatulence and hot air and put everyone on the equator and for a period of three days everyone blogs and blogs and makes videos along the equator and what that will do is it will create such a mass of gas and electrical current will ignite it, and this will explode around the equator. And what will happen then is that the Earth will blow up and become this shape right here. It will blow up here, it will fall apart like that, it will come apart like this, and fall upon itself like this, balancing itself. Here, will be the new location of the hot people on the bottom of the earth. Under here will be the cold people. All of this area in here will become a giant rainforest because when the equator is broken and exposes the interior of the earth, the oceans that are in this area right here will flood into the core of the earth where it is molten magma. Magma. I want you to remember that. Molten magma. It will create a gigantic, unbelievable cloud of steam, which will uncover the entire earth. Steam. The steam will condense, go up, make rain, and produce a rainforest on both halves of the earth. This area will be so hot, it will be almost uninhabitable except for those people that like it really hot. Like if you live in Florida, or you live like in, uh, uh, you know, uh, like, a, you know, like someplace really hot. If you live in, you know, someplace really hot, you live up there. Now, if you live up here, if you live in a hot area, but you really like to ski, if you're a skier, you say, well, I'd like to ski. You can live on the bottom of the earth where there's going to be a lot of good skiing. I'm telling you, it's going to be so cold there, it's going to be non-stop skiing powder galore. 24 hours a day, nothing but powder. So you can have your choice, or you can live on these two halves, which will be a rainforest, and uh, most of the animals will be wiped out, except you know for lizards and stuff. But 
this is the solution to our problem, so we're going to get all the vloggers, all the people that make videos, especially people that make videos, and we need to go around the equator and make a video for three solid days, blow up the earth from all the farting and freaking nonsense that goes on in the, uh, uh, in the internet world, and then it will turn into this and it will save the earth from global warming. And it's your responsibility to help out in this. And I'm shooting for a date when we can start this uh, October the 13th. That's tomorrow. So when everybody get down to the equator, we're going to start this project. So if you love your earth, you'll get down there. That's right.